Yo, what's going on guys? Um today we're going to be making a um a video review, like a knockoff Gorilla Tag game review. Whoa. Um so this game is on side quest. It's called Project Stretcher. Um it's a really fun game. I've played it a little bit. I have a couple of cosmetics, but um yeah, I'll go ahead and just kind of show you guys what there is. So there is a built-in mod menu. Um let me come over here real quick and uh do this. Oh crap, this is the one. Okay. So we're gonna be reviewing two um Gorilla Tag knockoffs, both on side quest. So yeah, um I got all these cosmetics. You don't spawn in with these cosmetics. Um let me go make a private room real quick. So let's come over here. Private room. Okay, here we go. So now that I made a um, private room, let's go ahead and go and show you guys all the cosmetics. So, um, up first, there are, this is the old hat sign. Um, looks kind of different, but, um, yeah. So you start off with a lot more than this, and you get, like, one shiny rock every one second, or two seconds, or something like that. Um, so here's all these cosmetics, you know. All the basic cosmetics that have been like always in this game. The early access cosmetics. Um, here's the second floor up here. Um, nothing up here and nothing up on the third floor either. Um, the dressing room mirror does work. Um, it's in the old house update. So, um, God. Now we're not going to be looking at all the maps, we're just going to be kind of reviewing what there is. So there's all these cosmetics and stuff. So yeah, this is what city looks like. You can't buy anything because you don't need to buy anything. You get one shiny rock every one second. So yeah. Um, don't mind that in the background, that's my phone. Somebody's calling me. I don't know who that is. It's a spam. Alright, so don't mind that. Um... Let's see, mod menu. Let's get to the mod menu. Um, don't have long arms on right now, but first mod is long arms. Makes your head go down there, but you can see that I do have long arms. Okay, give me a second. Okay, it's shut off now. It's shut off. Um, first mod, long arms, platforms. Now, I obviously, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've posted a couple videos of me actually having mods in real Gorilla Tag, so these... These mods do feel really good. They feel just like real mods. Um, there's the punch mod, just basically like where you can punch someone. If you're in a public lobby, you can punch them, you know. Um, this thing is kind of annoying with this. Invisible platforms, invisible platforms. There's fly. This makes you fly, you know. Pretty simple. Um, car monk, pretty much the same thing as fly. Right. Yeah. God. Okay, so that was car monk. Um, this is actually one of my favorite mods. It's third person point of view. It's a third person. It's really weird, but like it's really fun to play around with. Like it is actually pretty fun to play around with. It's kind of hard to do everything that you can normally do because it just it's pretty weird. Oops. Um yeah. So there's that. Now, the last mod is FOV. This kind of makes it, you know, what FOV is. Makes your game look more, like, stretched out, you know. Um, so, this is forest. What forest looks like. Very big. There's a giant snowman up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on some platforms. So, I can go ahead and go up there. Um, my headset's about to die. They do have slippery walls, but they're not the as slippery. I just sucked at slippery walls. So yeah. I have this giant snowman up here. 
Um, that's about it for this game. Really fun. There are public lobbies. Oh, and something else that's kind of cool about this game is that right over here, if you go to where the tutorial is, um, it's metal. For some reason, the tutorial is just metal. I don't know why it's metal. So the next game we're gonna review is Project like Memory or something. Now this one is one of my favorite games. Um, you can see they have computer interface here. You also do get a lot of shiny rocks. It's in the Halloween update. You can see Gerald, whatever this guy name is. Um, you can see those. There is a camera mod, which I'll show you that in a second. Um, so here's computer interface. Let's go ahead and look at the mod. Or actually, I'll show you city. Um, so yeah, in this game, you start off with, like, 10,000 shiny rocks, I'm pretty sure. These are, like, um, like, overcoats, you know, and model, character models. This game has turn, too. You can actually use the turn in this game, which is what I like. Um, yeah, you start out with, like, 10,000 shiny rocks. I don't think you can go through these. Because I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here except pumpkins. Um, they have all the balloons. It's in this update. Free chocolate. There's this guy. Yeah, all these. Pretty sure, um, actually in this update, uh, caves looks really weird. Or mountains looks weird. God. God, I suck at Gorilla Tag. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's just the old cave, or mountains. Slides do look a little different, though. Um, next up is the mods. This game also has public lobbies. I just don't think my internet is very good right now. So, um, yeah. Then you go ahead, come over here. And click... This button right here, enable mod menu. Now, what I don't really like about this game is that if you, you know how in Gorilla Tag you just press, you can see your thumb move a little bit if you just kind of set it on the A button. It opens the mod menu if you do that. So, um, so instead of doing that with your finger, if you press on it, it opens it. I don't really like that. Um, enable banana. I don't know what this does. There's a banana now. Um, there's platforms RGB. These are sticky platforms. Invisible platforms, obviously. I don't think these are. Oh, they are sticky. Um, Ghost Monk. I don't know what button it is. It was working a little bit ago. Jetpack. I don't know what this does either. Oh. It's a jetpack. Enable gun. Gun, freeze. Oh. Um, disable gun. Oops, no clip. No clip. It doesn't work for some reason. Long arms. These long arms are kind of buggy. So like, there we go. But if you move, see my head. So if you move in real life, it kind of makes your head go buggy. ESP just puts a little square on their head. Um, next, let's go over here. Welcome Project Memories 3.0 Beta. Um, computer interface. Pretty cool. There's maps. Custom maps. Four custom maps. Um, yeah, all these. Um, here's this. And I don't think that the walls in this one are slippery. It might have been this one. Nope. They're slippery. But, um, yeah, so this is pretty much it for this game. Oh, I forgot one thing. Camera mod. It's really cool. See? See me? My head is looking weird. You gotta reset your view if that happens. So we, all these buttons right here don't work, but the front and back buttons. You can grab it like this and just kind of 
run around like you know you seen you know, all those TikToks like on a Skype call with my teacher or something you know you gotta grab it like this though I don't think you're able to grab it with that handle you can only grab it with this one but yeah it's kind of buggy still but yeah you can see it is still a working camera I don't think it has actually worked though so yeah, that's pretty much it for these games. Um, there's Lucy still in the game. She spawns every now and then. But um, yeah, that's really it for this game. It's nothing really interesting. Um, I think there is some pretty good music. Shut on trip. That was um, the other game, I'm pretty sure, actually. That had the good music. It was... So I can't remember what it was. But yeah. These two are both really good games. I don't know what's down here. I've never been down here. I don't like down here, and I don't think I ever will. Oh, it's just the old. Yeah.